Hi, this is Jim Richardson, the CEO of Finchloom, and I wanted to record this short video to explain Microsoft Defender for servers. We've been on a couple of sales calls with our customers of late, and they have uh, opted to use Defender for Endpoint on their end user computing environment. So they deploy Defender for Endpoint to Windows PCs, Macs, and mobile devices. But lately they've been asking us, what about our servers? We've got servers on-prem, we might have some servers in Azure as virtual machines. How do we protect those servers from uh, antivirus and other types of attacks? So what I'm here to tell you is that Microsoft Defender for Servers is the product that integrates with Defender for Endpoint. So you get that full endpoint detection and response, aka EDR, and other threat protection features on your servers as well as your end user computing environment. Defender for servers is part of the Defender for Cloud suite. Defender for Cloud as a whole suite is known as a cloud security posture management tool or CSPM. And it enables you to deploy this tool to continually assess your cloud security posture. It works with Azure. It also extends multi-cloud to Amazon, AWS, and Google. Uh, and then it also extends to your on-prem servers if you use Azure Arc to link them all in together. But basically, you continually assess your environment, look for vulnerabilities, and look for threats that might be attempting to compromise your server environments. Then you can deploy security to those server workloads. So for example, Defender for servers is one such workload. And then Defend is the ability to detect through alerts and the ability to resolve those alerts from a dashboard or by doing manual engineering work. So the way you deploy Defender for cloud is you enable it at the subscription level in the Azure portal. And when you start that, you get a, a free 30 day trial of Defender for Cloud and Defender for Servers. And uh, at the end of that, if you choose not to use Defender for Servers, you can keep running Defender for Cloud as a foundational assessment tool. And that will be free for you to use. So you'll start getting recommendations in the portal that might tell you, oh, you should do this or that for security on your servers. Then you enable Defender for Servers as the workload to protect your server endpoints. And when you enable the paid plan, you have to pick between plan one or plan two. So I'll explain the differences between those plans. Also, if you're going to integrate with other cloud platforms, you could do that, or you can use Azure Arc, as I said, to bring in on-prem servers that you might still have in a data center that you're uh, leasing or renting. Now, the two plans for Defender uh, are quite simple. The first is entry level. And if you do go with plan one, you have to enable it across the board at the subscription level. With plan two, you can enable it at the workspace level to get full feature coverage as well. But for plan one, you get that foundational posture management, like I said, and it shows you recommendations for your machines. So that's it at a basic level, that's free. But then the plan one also gives you the endpoint detection and response features that you might be used to if you use Defender for Endpoint plan two. And I'll show you what some of those are in detail on the next slide. Now, if you do step up to Defender for Servers plan two, you get all of the features of plan one, plus some additional things. So first, let me show you what you get in Defender for Endpoint integration. This is for both plan one and plan two. Now that integration gives you the ability to reduce the attack surface of your servers. That might mean closing ports, enabling firewalls, et cetera. You also get the next generation antivirus protection that runs real-time scans against daily downloaded cloud pattern files. Also there's EDR the advanced antivirus that includes threat analytics, automated investigations and response, and the advanced hunting capabilities. You can use a third party like Microsoft Defender Experts, 
or even a company like Red Canary to do your hunting for you. But this is what you'd need to provide them with so they have data to hunt. And then you also get the vulnerability assessment provided by Defender Endpoint. And that's the basic vulnerability assessment. There's one that you'll see comes with Qualys, who's a renowned, a renowned uh, vulnerability assessment tool. And Qualys is now included in plan two. Uh, but the great thing here is the licensing is simple. You only pay for the hours that you use Defender for servers. So that means while your servers are running, you're paying by the hour versus per server. So you don't have to overspend. And if there's certain servers that you turn off at night, maybe they're development servers and you still want that protection. Well, you only pay while the server's running. Now, I promised that I would show you some differences between plan one and plan two. Some of the things that you get in plan two, uh, I said that Qualys vulnerability assessment is built in. You don't need an extra Qualys license for that. So for those of you who are used to uh, advanced security vulnerability assessments, you can have that. You get free data ingestion into the workspaces up to 500 meg. Uh, as you enable plan two, it's going to generate a lot more data that needs to be sent back for an analysis. One of the great features is just in time virtual machine access. So if you have consultants or engineers who are logging in with remote desktop to access a virtual machine, you can now have that immediate request with the authorization and then it times out. So they only have that access for while they need it and it's gone the rest of the time. And there's a few other things that you get with plan two, including agentless scanning. So you don't have to deploy the Defender agent to all of your servers if you can't. If you need agentless scanning, it's there. So let's talk about the price. The Defender for Servers Plan 1 is less than one cent. It's, what is that, seven one seven one thousandths of a cent? I don't, I don't know the term, but it's 0 0.007 per server per hour. So if you take 10 servers and you run them continuously for 24 hours, it comes out to $49.06 on Plan 1. For plan two, it's two cents per server per hour, and it includes that data ingestion per day. And for 10 servers running full time at two cents per server per hour, it's $146 a month for full coverage on those servers. But remember, each company is different. You have different numbers of servers. They may be on for different hours of the day, and you may have different log ingestion requirements. So we can help you put together an exact a, a much better estimate of what you may expect to pay when you deploy this in your environment. So to get started, we recommend first that you get a zero dollar Azure subscription from Finchland. There's no obligation to use it. In fact, you don't have to use it at all when you enable Defender for Cloud free for 30 days. And then you enroll your servers, enable the protection and start watching the alerts come in and respond to them. Now, if you choose after the trial to offboard your servers, then it'll go back to being that free evaluation platform. It tells you your vulnerabilities and your recommendations. Uh, it, it shows you your posture and you can go back to having zero dollar on your Azure subscription. The only time you'll get charged is if you start adding resources to the Azure subscription that incur cost. And then at the end of each month, we go read the meters to show which things you used and we send you an invoice. Now, if you'd like, we have experts on staff in our Azure department who can help with deployment and configuration assistance. We also have uh, the ability to find programs from Microsoft to help educate you for free, or maybe even get you some credits to use on your Azure subscription to get you going. So please do look us up on finchloom.com and send us a note that you want to have a free consultation with one of our Azure specialists, and we will be glad to get on the phone and talk to you about Microsoft Defender for servers. I want to thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.